I apologize for making it such short notice. I hope it didn't interfere with anything you'd already planned. No. no I knew it was important, and I wanted to be here. But I uh, have to tell you something, Alan. I have special plans for tomorrow night, and I really don't want to cancel them. See, it's a surprise for Leslie. So I hope that nothing's going to be happening then, okay? Yeah, we'll try to make sure that nothing comes up. Good. Excuse me. Well, Monica, I'm so glad you could make it. Alan? Hi, Rick. Glad to be here. Yeah, just barely. <laughs> we have a lot to do tonight because uh, Rick has already made special plans with Leslie for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm taking Leslie to the Heart Fun Ball at the Harbor Towers. Oh, nice. Special occasion? Well, kind of. We're celebrating our second month anniversary. Oh, two whole months. My, you've certainly gotten sentimental, haven't you? Maybe. Is there something wrong with that? Oh, of course not. I think it's uh, nice. Well, why don't we get right down to it? I'd like to get home early tonight if I can. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, it's the eve of your anniversary. Alan? Uh, yes, um, I have some notes on the conversation that I uh, took with the British architect that I was telling you about. Would you mind getting them for me, Monica? They're, um, they're in the bedroom desk. You know, in the, in the same drawer where you keep your papers. I'll get them. Hi. Am uh, I in the doghouse? No, of course you're not. I'm just glad you're home. And so much earlier than I expected. Well, we got the business done right away, and I didn't stick around any longer than I had to. Where's Laura? She's up in her room. She didn't feel well, and she went to sleep early, and I haven't even seen her all night. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. I, uh, hope that it's not serious. No, she assured me it wasn't just a headache. Poor baby. Your plans for the family dinner just fell through, didn't they? <sighs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> Did you make something for yourself to eat? Mm-hmm, I did. Did you eat? No, not yet. Okay, I'll fix you something. No, 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 no. I'll just have a sandwich later on, maybe. Um, what do you say that we make up for all this tomorrow night, huh? We don't have anything to make up. Well, I think that we do. And I have been uh, keeping this as a surprise. <laughs> but I don't think I can keep it any longer. Voila! <laughs> you crazy Happy person. second anniversary. Two months. Oh, you sweet thing, you remembered. Hmm. Well, go ahead, open it. <gasps> oh, tomorrow night! Mm hmm The Heart Fun Ball. I planned this two weeks ago. And tomorrow night is gonna be just for us. We'll go to the Heart Fun Ball first, and um, then we'll have a late night supper at one of those swanky places. How does that strike you, huh? Oh, it's just gorgeous. Hmm. Oh. Do you think we should really go out and leave Laura alone after we insisted that she spend all the school nights at home? I imagine that she can make it through one night all by herself. And don't forget, you were the one that promised that the mother and wife roles would be kept in perspective. I'm sorry, you're right. It's a beautiful idea. And I have a very thoughtful husband. <laughs> Is the tea still hot, honey? Mm-hmm, I just brought it in. Good. Well, tell me about your meeting. I want to hear all about it. Well, Monica started out with a few of her uh, snide remarks, but you know I don't pay attention to her anymore. And then Alan let something slip. I got the idea that Monica's living there in that apartment with him. Really? Mm-hmm. After that I happened, she got uh, very reserved. <laughs> I don't think she was any too happy about it. My goodness, that's quite a piece of news. Oh, what's all this? You think you're going to take off early? Ah, caught. Yes, in fact, I'm leaving to go home. I thought I'd like to spend a little time with Laura before we go out this evening. That way I figure I can fulfill my wifely and motherly duties all in the same evening. Well, I think that's an acceptable compromise, but I hope you're not looking at this evening as a duty. Oh, of course I'm not. Because I'm really looking forward to the night. The evening just for the two of us, and we're really going to do some celebrating. I'm looking forward to it, too. Hmm. I just felt that as long as I hadn't seen her last night, I didn't see her this morning before she went to school, I should spend a little time with her before we leave. I understand. I just hope she'll be there. Oh, I'm sure she will. Oh, 
I don't believe that she would want to start breaking our rules this early. Well, I didn't mean to sound cynical, honey. I mean, I'm sure she'll be there, okay? She really has changed her whole attitude, Rick. I feel... I feel so much better about everything lately. I know. I can see it in your eyes. I got their own sparkle back again. Speaking of which, when will you be home? Well, as soon as I can get there. Probably an hour. Okay, now don't let yourself get tied up with anything don't. here, please. <laughs> don't worry, I wouldn't miss this for the world. This evening, especially after all the work I went through to put it together, I'll be there in plenty of time. I'll see you at home. Okay. Where are you, Monica? Well, I'd like to apologize to you. I feel very bad about what happened at the apartment the other night. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. I'm embarrassed about the whole situation. Well, there's no need to be embarrassed on my account. Monica, the way you run your life is your own business, not mine. I mean, if you've got something good going for you, enjoy it. Don't go around apologizing for it. I just didn't want you to get the wrong impression. I don't think I did. But I'll tell you one thing. I hope it's Alan that you care about, and not his connection with the new cardiac wing. Because I like the man, and I respect him, and I really don't want to see anybody using him. I really take exception to that remark, Rick. I am not using anyone. Okay, then. Fine. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, boy. No matter how much I change, I'll still be the same in your eyes, won't I? You never forgive and you never forget. We all have our faults, Monica. Maybe that's mine. Good night. I'm home. So I see. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. I told you I'd be home soon. Hi. Well, since we weren't going out right away, I've just been sitting here taking it easy. You sure? Why not? I made uh, some reservations for us after the ball tonight. We're going to have a nice candlelight dinner, and then we're going to do a little more dancing. Oh, that sounds marvelous. Where are we going? Well, I want to save that for a surprise. But I think you'll like it. It's a nice little spot. That's really lovely. Hmm. Do you know how long it's been since we dressed up and went out? Mm-hmm. Too long. Say, where is the uh, young lady of the house? She's not here. You mean she didn't come home after school? No, no. Well, she was here when I arrived. Uh, she's out on a date. A date? Who with? <clears throat> Scotty. Well, how come? I thought we had a rule that there was no dating on school nights. I made an exception for this one time. You see, she had promised Scotty that she would go to a school dance with him, back before we even gave her any rules. And I didn't think that she should have to be penalized, or Scotty either, for that matter. Leslie, when you take a stand, you have to stick to your guns. If you let her get away with this, she's going to expect you to, well, to let her do it other times. No, no. I made it very clear that it was just for tonight. Well, I hope so. I know you've been pleased the way everything has been going. And if you get too permissive, I think she's liable to take advantage of it. Believe me, I'm not going to make a habit of it. And I told Laura that earlier, and she said she understood. Okay. I just hope it works out. I'll get it. Buddy. How you doing? Ah, come on in. Move a little company? Sure. Hi, Leslie. Hi, David. You look happy. Yeah, I am. As a matter of fact, I feel like I'm on top of the world today. I've had some good news, and I wanted to come over here and share it with you guys. I mean, after all, what's good news for if you can't share it with somebody, right? Right. Well, what's the good news? Well, it looks like that advertising job of mine's going to pay off after all. I think they're going to put me on steady. David, that's marvelous. Congratulations. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. Anyway, I thought it'd be nice if we all go out and celebrate. I'd like to take you guys and Laura out to dinner. Oh, I'm so, oh, we've, uh, we've made plans. We're going out tonight, David. Oh, well, uh, how about Laura? She is out on a date at a school dance, David. I'm so sorry. Ah, doggone, that's too bad. Well, maybe it's better if you wait to celebrate until you're absolutely certain about the job. Oh, no, no, it's certain. Or at least 99% sir. I mean, they've even promised me a big advance on my salary. Well, why don't we take a rain check on it? Hey, sure, no sweat. You know something? I really do think my luck is starting to change. I mean, if things keep going the way they are, I'm gonna have a setup just like yours. Hey, nice house, beautiful wife that loves me, money in the bank, the whole works. I'm sure you will. And we both wish you the best. Hey, I know you do. I mean, it's really nice to have friends like you, too. Well, if you guys will excuse me, I'm going to go change. Oh, sure, yeah. Don't, don't let me hold you up. All right, you stick around. We're going to have a drink to celebrate. Yeah. Got a deal? Yeah, you bet. Okay, yeah. honey. 
Oh, I'm really happy about this job. I wish you the best. I hope it gets you everything you want, because I don't know anybody who deserves it more than you, David. Oh, thanks a lot, Rick. I really appreciate that. You know, I feel like I'm starting to get my confidence back, you know? I mean, I've been a loser for such a long time, and now I think it's about time I had a crack at that winter circle. I never thought of you as a loser. You just had some bad breaks, that's all. Yeah, but sometimes when you lose so many times, you just kind of get the feeling it's going to go on this way forever, you know? But anyway, that's enough about me. Mm, not quite. A little toast. All the best, buddy. Hey, friendship. <laughs> mm, mm. So tell me, how's things going with Lauren Leslie, huh? I mean, if they started patching things up? Yeah, I'm glad to say there's been a big improvement. They seem to be getting along just fine. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Mm. Yeah, I know Leslie was kind of unhappy there for a while. Well, you know, some guys who aren't as understanding as you are might have resented all the time that she spent with Laura's problems. I mean, I know it took a lot of her attention away from you. When a guy's lucky enough to have a wife like Leslie, he can handle almost anything. Yeah. That didn't take long. Boy, oh boy, that's some dress. I've never seen you look more beautiful. Thank you, Dave. David's right. You are a knockout. Thank you, sweetheart. Leslie, I hope you'll have time to stop by my place and give me some more ideas on how to fix it up. Now that I'm going to have some money coming in, I'll be able to do it right. Of course, I'd be happy to. Well, look, I'm going to run along. I don't want to interfere with the evening anymore. But before I go, I want to make a little toast here. To Rick, who's always been one of the luckiest guys I've ever known. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm going to get out of your way now. You guys have a nice evening, huh? Thanks, David. Thank you. Yeah. Good night, Leslie. Good night, David, and congratulations again. Oh, well, thank you. And listen, don't forget, you know, we're going to have to go out and celebrate, huh? Mm-hmm. We well, will. Okay. Good night. Take care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have you relaxed and smiling again. It's nice for me, too. I can't tell you how good it feels. Mr. Grow up, we're going to make the first dance. Oh, you look so awesome. You like it? It's been a long time since I've worn it. Just gorgeous. <laughs> and oh, I do love you. Oh. Hold on there, Cinderella. You keep this up, we ain't going to make the ball. Okay, those things only start late anyway. <laughs> Rats, don't go away. Uh, hello, Dr. Weber. Come on in. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm looking for Laura. Is she here? What do you mean you're looking for Laura? I thought you guys had a date tonight. Well, we kind of had a misunderstanding and she walked out on me. I thought maybe she might have come back here. What's going on? Uh, they had a fight and, and she walked out on him. He's looking for her. Well, do you have any idea where she might have gone? Well, there are a few places she could have gone. She might have gone to Barbara's. Oh, I could call Barbara at home. Uh, would you keep looking for her, or, uh... Yeah, I will. I what will. was the misunderstanding about, Scott? Oh, nothing in particular. You know, those things get started. I guess it was my fault, and I wanted to apologize to her. Well, listen, I'm sorry that I bothered you. Uh, I'll keep looking. Yeah, if you find her, uh, just call me right away, please. Right. Leslie, now don't get upset about this. I mean, kids have these squabbles all the time. Well, I'm not crazy about the idea of her wandering around town if she's upset at night in the dark. Better get Barbara's home number. A seventh floor nurse's station, please. Uh, yes, this is Dr. Weber. Can you give me Barbara Spencer's home number, please? Yes, thank you. Barbara Spencer, please. Barbara, hello. This is Leslie Weber. I'm looking for Laura. Is she there with you? Uh, no, I know they had a date, but uh, she's not with him now. Uh, well, um, um, look, I'm sorry I bothered you. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it'll be all right. Thank you anyway, and uh, good night. Well, Barbara doesn't know where she is either. What do I do now? Rick?